Hey there. In this video, I want to talk about organizing our timeline to make sure that it is uh, most ideal for us as we're getting ready to finalize the rig and pose out master controllers. So let's walk through this and I'll show you how I like to set it up. So um, for the first, let me just disable this reference real quick. For this first portion of the timeline, I want to save it for doing the turnaround of the character. And I might end up posing it so that the character could do a whole 360. So I've only posed out half of it and it's taken me from frame one to about frame 15. So I want to save up to frame 30 for the turnaround. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna right click and choose create uh, scene marker. And I'm just gonna start at the top red. And we will say that this is the turnaround and the duration is gonna be like, let me just 29, let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks good. So I'll save that for that space. Next up, I want to do a place for notes and poses. So I'm just gonna go down, make another scene marker. All right, what I wanna do now is I'm going to make a place on the timeline for notes and reusable poses. I'm just gonna use purple. Let's see, time starting at 30, and I'm gonna let this go for 20 frames, maybe 19. Uh, let me name it. This is going to be <coughs> notes and poses. All right, um, I originally put all of the hand swaps starting at frame 50, but actually I wanna change that up as I was thinking about how I want this to work. So instead, I am going to push this out later. And instead at frame 50, I'm gonna insert a scene marker. And I want this to be the torso tilts. So I'm just gonna choose a different color. I'll go orange, torso tilts, and let's do 49. I might come back and adjust this later, but this is um, how I'm thinking I want it right now. All right, so normally what happens when you give an animator the rig you don't have all of this stuff on the timeline sitting here. Mostly, uh, you just have the main poses. And a lot of people won't even have them spread out like this. They'll simply have it like this, so it's nice and tight, and you just have what you need to start out with. A lot of places will just have those main poses sitting on the, the timeline. I like to leave it out like this, and what I'm going to do, and I feel is very important from 30 to 50, I'm going to save a spot for writing some notes about the rig that people might not realize that the rig can do, or special things that I've included that are not typical that you'd find in a rig. Um, you wanna make sure that all these, the things that you spend so much time making work nicely are going to be passed on to the animator. So I like to save that. And then after that, I'll delete everything past that when I make a template file, and we'll talk about that later. All right, so we have the rig here. It's ready to go. We've got these things marked out on the timeline, and I think I do want these swaps to start at frame 300. So um, swaps, and let's just make this like 150. I think it's easy to have 150 hands if you're working through things. Okay, so now we'll copy all this stuff where all the swaps were showing before. We'll cut all of this and we'll go paste it down there. Get rid of that tween. Okay, so we've got all those swaps showing. Great. Okay, the timeline is now ready for us to start building out the torso tilt, so we'll do that in the next video. See you soon!